Hi, and welcome to 4-Minute Answers, the place to get quick answers to your important questions. And in this video, we'll show you three secrets to galleries in Notion. Notion is a powerful organizational tool that we use to organize our work and life, and we have a series of quick Notion videos designed to take you from novice to pro. So subscribe to 4-Minute Answers, and when you do, leave a comment below that says you're a new subscriber, and, and we'll say hi. So let's get to it. Recently, we had a comment from viewer Pearl Chavez asking, how can I make the tiles smaller like the book gallery? I wish I could have them smaller and more than four per row. Well, I'm glad that Pearl asked that because it gives us a chance to explore some of the secrets of using galleries in Notion. And in this video, we're going to cover three of them. Are you ready? So secret number one, changing the size of the gallery images. Now getting right to Pearl's question, it is a bit hidden, but once you see how to do it, you'll probably remember it forever. Notion hides the ability to change the gallery image size in the three dots right here. Now click on these three dots and then click on properties. And you can see here the default size is medium, but you can change it to small or large and it changes immediately. Now, if you want to see more tiles per row, you've got two other choices. You can hide the navigation bar on the left by clicking up here. And if that's not enough, you can change the general settings and zoom out. To zoom out in a Mac, you just hit Command minus, and Command plus would zoom you back in. But it may be something that you want to play with. So that's how to change the size of the tiles in the gallery. Secret number two, adding or hiding text on the gallery image. Now Notion gives you some options. You can have text showing the name of the page or rating of the page or just about any other property you have on that page connected to that gallery image. Now back to the same three dots and then click on properties and you'll see toggles for each of the properties that you have in your database. Whether you wanna have a clean image in the gallery or one with a property will depend on what your intention is. For example, on this page, we use it for recipes and it's very useful to have the name of the dish right here on the image. But if I was using a gallery to create a dashboard, for example, and the image I used already has the text as part of that image, well, then I wouldn't need to add the page title. It's easy to play around with, and one of the great things about Notion is that it's easy to change your mind later. So that's how you add or hide properties in the gallery images. Secret number three, full page gallery. Well, here in this example, I have a gallery database on this page, but if I want, I can create a page with gallery tiles, but without this whole title section at the top. Now, the way I would do that is to add a page, a new page, and then hit backslash, and then scroll down to gallery full page. Now you see that all it contains is the tiles or images for the gallery. Now, this approach is great for a personal home page or a dashboard. As you can see, I've added a tile for action items in the image itself. So of course there would be no reason to have the title as well, but you could have action items or you could have your dashboard with all of the key databases that you have uh, going on for your life. So play around with full page galleries and see what you can do. So those are the three secrets to help, make, uh, help you make galleries even more powerful for you in Notion. If you have questions or comments about this or any other aspect of Notion, Add it to the comments below and be sure to check out our other formatted answer videos to help you become a Notion Pro quickly. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.